But it's still quite heavy. I brought the M1 in. I wasn't gonna juice on her, but we're gonna juice on her just for a minute to show Lauren. And it's so simple and quick that it's like, it's like not even a question. You know, with like certain juicers, you're like, do I wanna get it all dirty? But this one, it's so simple and easy. It's like, yeah, let's do it in a heartbeat. <sighs> there we go, that's a better angle. Right, guys? I can see more. Or is one more? Okay. I do want to show you guys, um, comparison size-wise, what she's looking like compared to the Mini. Um, I think she is four times smaller than the Mini, if that gives you a good idea. This guy, I cannot lift on my own, too big. This one easily can transport here and there, like I said, I brought it from home here. So lightweight, easy to move around. Definitely a great portable small juicer, but same great quality. I think we should do um, celery and apple and lemon, celery, apple, lemon. Jordan and I have been unboxing good natured machines for five years now. <laughs> hey, no, we didn't unbox this one together. I actually said in that video. Lauren can't be here because we're in quarantine. We're doing it now. It's more fun to unbox together. So it's just giving me some crazy sound vibes. Ooh, the CT man. See, I kind of wish we kept the CT, but then again, I just know. because it could be on the <laughs> right. Good death is blessing another juice shop, ritual juice shop to you. He's still using it. You know who's hustling? Juice Co. LG. Yeah, she is and a big inspiration. She is killing it, girl. You're killing it. It's something a lot of people want to see. What size is the M1 compared to the Mini? Here you go. Size wise. A few other things I want to mention. Every piece of this is dishwasher safe. So this comes off like this. This is its own unit that all comes apart and it's dishwasher safe. This is on. And press chamber, which is all plastic, is all dishwasher safe too. So that goes in. Another little close up bit. Size wise, what we're dealing with. Hand on that one. Hand on that one. <laughs> um, you know, that small. Okay. Oh, guys, remember in the one video I was talking about how this one you have to press this button to make it go down? It's not a hassle, but it is another step. This one just goes up and down all on its oh, own. Nice. It is nice. Because having to press this isn't like a a big deal, but time-wise, it does kind of get in the, not like get in the way, but. You do it a hundred times a day. Yeah, hard. yeah, for sure. So front, as far as front of the house, having this just go up and down, and if you're making juice on demand, is so convenient to be able to quickly go whoop, do 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 whoop, one less step. Great move on that, good nature, we really appreciate that. Eric has a clear hopper and press chamber, and I just think it's the coolest thing ever, and I really want one and I hope they make it an option. How cool to see all of your produce ground up and then fall down into the press chamber and get pressed. I just think that's like the coolest thing ever. All right, what are we dealing with? We got a little under two pounds. They have tons of color options as well. Like Charlie has an all black one, very sleek and cool. They do have green ones. I think they have red ones. Okay, like got it. Press the button on back, which makes it go. You can kind of hear the motor. Uh, that sounds a lot louder at home. <laughs> Turn the turn the mini on for comparison. Oh, they sound the exact same. <laughs> okay, so just like the mini, well, the mini has two different press like options, right? This is so simple; it just has grind, press, and stop. So you don't really have that many options. And all the parts are just like the mini, just smaller. So like the grind plate is just like the mini, but a smaller grinder. Is it the same grinder? Mm -hmm. Everything. <laughs> It's literally the mini, smaller and all plastic. Ooh, it looks good. God, looks good. Look how small it is. I you know, can just, it's like, tiny. It. It's so little. I mean, you can take this with you everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, you brought it here in your car and I carried it, it in. Carried it in. And I have a small car. Okay, make the juice. Okay. We've got celery, lemon, and apple. 
and you just press dry like you always normally would. It's just like the menu, just yep. smaller. And a lot, you know, less like kickback and just more gentle. As you get bigger in machine, it gets a little bit more aggressive. It's true. <laughs> like you kind of got to like, it can be a little intense. And this is just like gentle and nice and quiet. And quiet very quiet. River naps like right by it. And it just keeps it is there a juice tray that goes in there? Um, a juice like a catcher, like a. There's just a hole on the bottom one. Oh, it's built in. Yep. So they like simplified it. Basically. Shut up. One more part. The one mistake you always make is you forget to put your juice tray in. And it. all the juice is just like. Yeah. This one they built in. It, that is really nice. It That's dope. Like Even more simple. Does it automatically? Like, can you put it back in and grind, or do you have to push the grind button nope, every time? No, it stays on, okay. and then it just like that, and it automatically turns off after like yeah. I don't know, like 30 seconds. So, we can look in the press bag. We're pretty full. We might overflow a little. That's good. Celery is nice. It's good press. So then we press press. So the press options are just press, <laughs> just one cycle. Yep. That's just too easy. It is. So that's where we're looking at. Should we press it again just for kicks and giggles? All right, everything came off and these are all the pieces. It's all dishwasher safe, which is so handy and nice. And everything is plastic, so very lightweight. So we've got the hopper, the pusher, this piece, that piece. Here's part of the press chamber. That's it. So at home, all of this fits on like half of the top rack of my dishwasher. We'll rinse it and throw it in there and taste us. Taste us. Here we go. Look at the color. Oh, look at the color. Oh, it looks good. Oh, it smells good. Oh, these never. Oh my I gosh, know. I have a bone to pick with Pyrex. <laughs> they drive me crazy. <laughs> they don't pour well. Stupid Pyrex. Sorry, that's a little. I was like, oh. What a mess, man. Here we go. Just the Pam. The Pam. Oh, oh. Lemon lime Gatorade to a tea. What? No, it's like a celery Gatorade. Mom, it, come taste this. It hits you like celery, and That's then you're kind of like, ooh. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of celery. Mom, come here. That is straight Gatorade. I'm having soccer flashbacks. Try this. What's it taste like? We're closed, by the way, just so you guys know. That's why we're cantaloupe. It does taste like cantaloupe. Lime, lime. Um, River, you want some juice? It's a lime Gatorade. Oh. Should we make it? It's a lime Gatorade. Call it Gatorade. Gatorade. We call it Gatorade. We're gonna get sued if we, we call it Gatorade. It. <laughs> I like it. You can get the thumbnail. What's in it? Celery, Granny Smith apple, and lemon. Oh. The M1, which we have named Pam, Pam, Minnie, and Judy, kind of all next to each other in Celery little side by side. If you're starting a juice business, check out my business ebooks. Mom can't get over the Gatorade juice. Check out the business ebooks below. 